Welcome to Mission Sunlight from Network 7 Media Center. Our media missionaries visit the city of Lyon, France, located between Marseille and Paris. Lyon is the third largest city in France, after Paris and Marseille. This larger municipal area is estimated to be over 2.2 million people, which makes it the second largest metropolitan area in the country. In the Lyon metro area, there are only 600 Seventh-day Adventists to reach this massive population, where the dominant religion and world views are Roman Catholic and Islam. Lyon also has the largest immigrant population, with 13% being foreign-born and not holding French citizenship. With a teeming attendance of young adults leading the church here in Lyon, the 13th Sabbath Project for the region is designed to target the 70,000 students of University Lyon Lumiere. The Hope Life Center will be a gathering place with well-rounded programs to provide support, encouragement, and friendship as part of the critical spiritual emphasis of the Three Angels' messages. We have seen long-lasting effects from the pandemic. University-aged young adults particularly suffered from the isolation. Being affected in profound ways, this demographic needs answers for both their mental and spiritual health. Vanessa Nacto, Hope Life Center's program director, along with a robust team of other 20-somethings, is part of the committed leadership organizing the church's university outreach. As a young adult, Vanessa identifies with the collegiate culture. She understands the needs and ideas of the students that will make use of the center. Although I've been involved in church as a youth, it really was minimal. I needed something with more significant meaning in my life. As you might imagine, I'm quite excited that I've been selected to be part of the leadership of the Hope Life Center. I'm here to work for the Lord, and I see my friends and colleagues energy for it. Together, we have seen the Lord doing much work, and we believe that He will lead us to see even more success with the completion of the Hope Life Center. There are three major portions to this project, securing a building space, creating friendships, and meeting needs, and eventually planting a church. We want to create a space where students can gather and call it a space potential, which will be located in the heart of Lyon near the university. The name means the possibility of moving forward with God. The space will have a main area, a kitchen, and a room dedicated to Bible studies. Another part of the campus ministry will include a co-working space where students have internet access, fast food, and private workspaces. This will be a place of interaction, meeting, and study during the week. On weekends, it will be transformed into a place where students can relax with their friends. Using this approach, the Hope Life Center will need many volunteers. Some have already been identified and are eagerly participating. Our goal is to collaborate with several groups to provide a well-rounded program, including mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. We will work with AMALF and Santa Leon, who will bring the mental and emotional health component their personnel will address issues such as suicide, healthy eating, sexuality questions, and positive relationships. As the mental and emotional health of students is addressed, some may also have physical needs that need to be cared for in practical ways. We will work in partnership with ADRA France to offer students food and hygiene packages as emergency assistance. There are some students who come from outside of France and may need appropriate winter clothing. Many students face precarious financial challenges and we want to respond with practical methods. With mental and physical needs cared for, students' hearts will become more attuned to spiritual matters. Our pastors and church members will participate in the Jeunesse Adventiste, or Adventist Youth Meetings. Through youth-led discussions, we'll create relationships and offer spiritual support to our new friends as they discover God and mature in their spirituality. Our young adult lay leaders, who are in the same age group as the students who attend, will help facilitate discussions on difficult topics that can be explored in a safe place. As a pastor of the church, I am so happy to be involved in this project. We believe that when we apply the method of Jesus by mingling with the young people, we can help them. Through the development and growth of these programs, we will plant a church that reaches the postmodern mind that only knows secularism as a way of life. We want to bring long-lasting hope and peace of mind to these young adults. As they are discipled, they can then become disciples themselves. In a modern European city, amidst modern buildings, technology, the drive for excellence, and the pursuit of education, 
lies a mission field. There are young adults who long for hope and assurance, but often don't find it. They need others to point them to the path of being disciples of a God they haven't yet met. Your gift on Sabbath, June 24 will help raise up Hope Life Center. We don't know how many lives will be touched by this center, but God knows and He is already working in the lives of the students and those who will greet them at the Hope Life Center. Thank you for your gift to reach the young people of Lyon. May God bless you as you give and keep us in your prayers. We want to thank everyone for their generous support of this 13th Sabbath project. Thank you for supporting the Hope Life Center through your prayers and gifts of offerings. Your generosity supports my and my colleagues' ministry to thousands of seekers. My commitment to you is that I will disciple someone and help them meet Jesus as their friend. Then together, we'll see you in heaven. Reporting from Lyon, France, we are the media missionaries of Network 7 Media Center, and this is Mission Sunlight.